Hi, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and I have a faith-centered leadership lesson for you today. And my topic today is the gift that keeps on giving. What do you give the person who seems to have everything? You give them something that costs you little. And what do you give to the person who seems to have nothing? You give them what costs you much. And that's what Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and 65 other billionaires have decided to do. Maybe you've heard of the Giving Pledge. The Giving Pledge is a pledge that both Buffett and Gates have persuaded 65 others to sign, and they're working on other billionaires across the world. And the point is that these billionaires pledge to give half of their net worth away during their lifetime to charitable causes. Now, Buffett, Gates, and these 65 other billionaires are doing an admirable deed because they are giving what they have in their resources to others who may not have as much, and in fact, really don't have as much. And in this way, they've established themselves as ACEs, A-C-E, and you can do the same. The A in ACE stands for accountability. They've held themselves and each other accountable to doing something with their wealth that makes a difference in the world. And you can do the same because you know people who, like you, have similar resources in abundance that you can give of to others who have need of it. So you can hold others accountable for what they have in terms of their resources as well. The C in ACE stands for change. These billionaires believe that their wealth can make a change in the lives of others. And you can too. Now you probably have a particular cause that touches your heart in some way. And it may be education, it may be sickness, it may be poverty, it may be uh, p ensuring that people eat healthy foods and have access to healthy foods in their neighborhood. Whatever it is, it's helping someone else who doesn't have something that you believe that is important for them to have. And you can make a change in the lives of these people by giving of your resources to them as well. Finally, the E in ACE stands for expectation, and that's expecting that your wealth and your resources can make a difference and that that investment can have a return for you and for others. So these individuals have given of their time, their talent, and their treasures. Now time is what every man or woman spends their hours on in a day, and so where I spend my time, you'll know what I value the most. Our talents are the skills, abilities, and competencies that we're gifted with. And our treasures are the financial resources that we've either earned or inherited to use for good for both ourselves and for others. So think of how you can be an ace. How you can use your time, your treasure, and your talent for others, for the good of others. You have an abundance of resources just waiting at your fingertips that you can use as a resource for others that will be a blessing to them, that will be a gift to them that they so sorely and so badly need. I want to end this with a quote for you. And the quote is from uh, a gentleman who is the founder of the, John, of the Paul Mitchell Hair Products Empire. His name is John Paul DeJoria. And he says, and he's one of the 65 or 67 billionaires in the Giving Pledge. He says, we have a choice. We can make our kids billionaires and it will ruin them. Or we can realize how blessed we are and try to spread those blessings around. My view has always been that success unshared is failure. So share your success with others. Be a blessing to others. Thanks for listening.